Hi everyone, this is Jeff again. Uh, we are now post 10 days after total hip replacement. And there's a couple of things that I want to show you that you're definitely going to need after getting your um, hip replaced. A um, couple of things here, you're definitely going to need a cane, a uh, two wheel walker, and you are going to need a sock helper which is uh, 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 something that you put your sock on with some string, you throw it to the floor and it helps you put your sock on. And uh, I'm just gonna go into my washroom here and I'm gonna show you, uh, please excuse the mess. Um, you're not really up to cleaning and, and getting around and vacuuming and cleaning everything after a hip replacement, but uh, I'm gonna show you here. It is a um, toilet seat razor and uh, very easy to install. It also has the arm rests, as you can see. And um, it, uh, it, it serves its purpose. You're definitely gonna need something uh, like that in order to get <clears throat> uh, down on the toilet seat properly without uh, breaking any restrictions that your doctor may or may not give you. Um, like I said, I'm 10 days out post uh, operation. I am going to show you um, a day later how well I'm walking. Uh, a couple things here that I have on my bed that my doctor is giving me. Um, I don't know if you're going to receive this from um, your doctor or your surgeon, but uh, they've given me a couple of things that I'm supposed to give to my doctor to help me uh, take out my stitches and staples. I did have both. So uh, very quickly, these are what I'm supposed to bring to my doctor's office um, to take out the uh, staples and uh, everything sterilized. So you're going to bring that to your doctor after uh, your 10 or 14 days of uh, your stitches being in and staples. Over here you're going to see what they give me is a blood thinner and uh, this right here is um, needles that I have to inject myself with and they come in these little packages and I do one in the morning and one at night they're about 12 hours apart and that's just so uh, we uh, or the doctors keep your blood nice and thin so you don't have any blood clots so depending on what your doctor prescribes to you it could be uh, aspirin um, it could be these injections here that my doctor has provided for me um, and that just keeps your uh, your blood thin so you don't get any blood clots so uh, again I'm gonna set my phone up over here and um, I'm gonna show you how well I'm walking 10 days after surgery if I can just give me a second here I'll put it down and uh, you guys can take a look I'm just gonna walk across Again, excuse the uh, the mess. Um, like I said, you don't really want to be vacuuming and cleaning up and bending over, and any of the restrictions that your doctor is giving you, you definitely want to follow them. So, uh, but here's 10 days um, post surgery, and uh, remember, I'm a I'm a bigger man, so um, but I'm healing very well. Uh, so I don't think weight is really an issue. I think it's. Um, how active you are before surgery and how active you want to be after surgery. Um, they definitely don't want you sitting around on the couch doing nothing. So uh, get up and walk, even if it, even if it's with your um, your walker or uh, if you feel comfortable going to a cane, get up and walk because it is very very beneficial. So this is again ten days after um, surgery. So I think probably within the next two or three days, um, I probably won't be needing a cane. But what they do say, if you are limping, um, to always have some support, uh, regardless if it's a small limp or not. So that's what I've been told. So today, uh, 10 days after surgery, I am going to be going for my second block walk. So I'm going to get outside with my cane and I'm going to walk a full block today. So uh, 
I'll let you know how everything goes. I'll post a few more of these uh, just to help you through. I hope these are helping you out in some way. And um, uh, take care of yourself. I'll see you in a couple of days.